Welcome to Unbiased and on the Fence. I have Lori Williams with me, of course, the author of, let me find your book here, I lost it here, <laughs> Castleberry Cove. We've had her on before, of course, and this is, oh, it's going to be backwards for you guys, so sorry. It's not for you guys, but it is for my viewers, sorry, I have it. <laughs> but we had Lori on before to talk about her book, and guess what, there's been this cool collaboration between Lori and singer and songwriter and artist, Shaylee Scott. So I wanted to introduce you all to Shaylee Scott and just share this 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 music with you because it's awesome and let you know about it. And uh, how are you ladies doing today? Oh, I'm wonderful. Yeah, it's a great Tuesday. It's a great Tuesday. <laughs> is it Tuesday? I was having to think about that. I was like, I think it's a Wednesday. Nope, it's still Tuesday. No, yep. I only know because I made sure this morning. I was like, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. The days have been so weird and uh, time just in general over the last few years. Oh, just been so odd. Very odd. Day to day, even. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's, yep. um, before we get into the music, let's introduce, let's know a little bit about Shaylee Scott, because I don't really, I've never really met Shaylee before. So I'm meeting her with you guys for the yeah. first time. I talked to her for a few minutes just before we started recording, but she's we a recording did. artist. She's a fellow light worker like us. So What's a little bit of your your story, Shaylee? Oh, geez, where to start? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm a Colorado native, so grew up in the mountains of Colorado, which I love. Colorado will always have my heart. So nature girl, really big into camping and music, of course. So I taught myself piano by ear at five, tried to do piano lessons. And like a lot of us light workers, we don't fit into that box of authority sometimes, or, you know, rebels. Box, so. Yeah. Oh, rebels. So like Jesus. My, yes. yes exactly. I remember I was writing stuff. I was probably like eight and I wanted to, I was so excited. I wanted to show my piano teacher what I'd written. And she had, she had no, she didn't want any part of it. She said, you, until you know what you're playing, I don't want to hear anything that you're writing. And I realize now, I think it was a little bit of jealousy, like, why is this eight-year-old girl, like, writing stuff already? But she definitely was trying to dim my light, and I was like, nope, sorry, lady. So I went to my mom, and I was like, I'm quitting piano lessons, and I never took another piano lesson again. And now I'm a professional piano player, so, <laughs> <laughs> so well, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to just go with what's in your heart and... So, um, yeah, and then I moved to L.A., same thing, college. I, I was one of those people that was an overachiever, kind of programmed in school, got all straight A's, thought that was important. And then it clicked, like I started waking up and I was like, this is not what is important in life. And by the time I was 19, I was so burnt out from school. I quit school and moved to L.A. and was like, I'm just going to be a songwriter because that's what my soul wants to do. So that's what I did. I quit school. So quit school, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the lesson for today. You know, yeah. Well, because I really feel like everything is inverted, you know, like we always hear stay in school, stay in school. But I think it's that institution that they want us to like think is so important, you know, and that can be for some people. But for me, it just wasn't, you know. So I spent my whole 20s in L.A. chasing that dream. And, you know, I had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of some, you know, movies, a lot of B movies, a lot of B movies, <laughs> but, you know, a lot of really fun experiences um, along the way. And then got married, had a child and moved back to Colorado, full circle. And now I songwrite from my studio at home. And once I awoke into being a light worker, my whole added change and what I write about change. So like a lot of the stuff you hear is stuff that I wrote before I awoke, you know. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of some I've got I've some gospel who, stuff out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or even even the opposite of like, I'm right, like oh yeah. man, that's really like I was very sad and like angry at that yeah. time. You know, but the music was my therapy. And so that's how I and so you realize that's why we write about angry or anger or sadness because we knew 
you don't keep that bottle in. Mm. And so that's how, why I became a songwriter is because in seventh grade, uh, I was only 12 and a half and uh, my friend Robbie had took, taken her own life. And we came to school Monday morning and 12 and 13 year olds, it was just, it's too young to hear that. And I, it changed my whole life. And I remember I, I didn't know how to deal with those emotions. So I just wrote a song from her perspective and wrote, ended up singing it for people at the school. Wow. And then I realized, yeah. That was real I therapeutic, realized, I bet. Yeah. And then everyone came up afterwards and were crying and thank you for helping us get through this. And that was the day I realized this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I had no idea. I thought I wanted to be a dancer. I, you know, I knew it was like something entertaining, but I never thought of like until that moment, I, I want to do, I want to write music for people and, and for me. So yeah, that's my <laughs> life. Now I'm just a mom. Um, and then I do music. And then I just try to share joy. That mm -hmm. is awesome. And it's it's yeah. really cool because it's like, I see it even in your journey before you woke up to what it is you're here to do. You were already still doing it, you know, just not knowing it, just yeah, being unaware of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are certain things that I, I could tell. I'll go back and um, read old, even old Facebook posts where I could see little things of me waking up that now with my quantumize i can go oh wow I, there was shimmers of <laughs> yeah. that light worker in there just didn't know it yet so absolutely that's, that, that's so but encouraging though you know to, mm -hmm. to see that yeah like, and to realize like wow i am the same person i've just really been become more aware of what it right. is i'm here to do so that's the well, yeah and before the dream was just to get famous and get rich and I, mean, I really it wasn't though from a young age i always wanted to um, I just wanted to be comfortable and give back and I wanted to pay off my parents house. That was always my dream. That was what got me like was to pay my parents back for everything they'd done for me. Yeah. And so that was really what kept me going. And then I lost my mom, unfortunately, but that actually sparked my awakening. So it was all beautiful, but, but now my, it's not, you know, there's different reasons behind it. So, but it's all kind of working that. together in a way. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. So we'll Good listen to be to, here, though. We'll listen to a piece of the song in a second, but how did this come come about? How did you, um, you and uh, yeah. Lori come together to figure out, you know, you wanted uh, to do this collaboration? Divine inspiration there, because that was, <laughs> meeting Shaylee was just awesome. We were in a group together, and I think it was like December, wasn't it, Shaylee? That, it November, maybe we met? Yeah, November, yeah. And then really kind of got it to Kind of got it going, yeah. I kept seeing her like comment and this group or whatever. And I just felt a resonance with her, like everything that she would say, even the emojis, you know, that she would use. I was just like, we are so tracking. Like, I just, this is my person, you know, she's so great. And so I just reached out to her, you know, through that platform and everything. And then it was, I was like, hey, I, I wrote a book. Can I send it to you? I think you'd really like it. You know, poetry and songwriters and musicians, we usually kind of yeah. sync up. And so, yeah. Um, it was just kind of natural. She was like, yeah, send it to me. I was like, I, I'd like to turn it into a song. What do you think? Let's collaborate. So it just kind of went from there. And um, <clears throat> as a fellow creative, I know it's always best to give another creative the creative control <laughs> to do what yeah. they want. So I told her, you know, pick out some of the poems. You know, I've got some that I like, but you pick out uh, what is resonating with you. Because I knew as she was going to put it together, I wanted her to feel it and have that connection. And so she ended up choosing Tethered Hearts, which is one of my favorite ones. And um, yeah, then it just kind of went from there. And the first demo that I heard, I was, normally I have feedback or some things like that when I work on projects or I collaborate. When I heard it, I was just like, this is it. <laughs> you know? it, it, was was, fun. it was so good. She said to me, it was like late at night one night and I was just in my bed listening to it in my headphones and I was like, it, she got it. She got the vision. She got the sound. She got the vibe. Like, and working, you know, as a creative, when you're working with someone like that and you have such trust and that, you know, synchronicity going back and forth, we were having so many synchronicities through the whole thing right. and just mind blowing. And so now all of a sudden it is a full song out there doing its thing. <laughs> I love that because what you're bringing up is is powerful. It's, it's, 
it was a word that I kept getting a while back called synergy. And it's yep. it's kind of like that idea mm-hmm. of like, you know, the, the energy we both bring to the table when it comes together is actually more powerful than they are separately. Yes. And you can yes. really experience that when you're working with other people of high bi- vibration. You can yeah. really see that um, almost like, you know, what Jesus said, where two or three are gathered, there I am also. You can feel this divine connection when yeah. you come together and these, progr- yeah. these projects begin to like, magically unfold and you know that there's something else helping you know what well I mean? you could feel it you know i mean i could yeah. feel well she was she's been a big her music has been a big activator for me like with my light language that was it was starting to come in but i listened to uh shaley's song hold the light and i i mean i felt that my light language is full low after i listened to her song and i was like there's something with this girl and her activation of me and so mm-hmm. It is. It's any time like there's that those synchronicities, that synergy, all of that stuff. And it was funny as he was talking, I was even thinking about the line in Tethered Hearts where, you know, it says like um, magnetic, electric somehow or, you know, that, electric, yeah. electric. I was just hearing it because I was like, even though you know, Tethered yeah. Hearts, is, it can connect to anybody, soulmates, twin flames all different kinds of relationships and anyone anyone yeah. and animals right animals yeah. you know i, I mean, mean we all know we have we have tethered hearts with animals we well, do so. and Shaylee and I, I have a tethered heart so yeah. I, yeah, yeah we found out we have a past life connection even yes. through this song like it yes. brought us to if you wow. realize we may have like a par- parallel life i don't call it past life yeah say a parasol, yeah it's going on yeah 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 very, this song was cool. It just was magical in so many ways. But what I really loved that Lori allowed me to do was um, she really let me take the time I needed, which was great. Thank you, Lori. Because mm. we all know at when you are higher vibration, deadlines, things like that yeah. come down. At, you can't rush sometimes. You don't know when the, it's going to flow out or when you just kind of have to go with it. And she was mm-hmm. so good about like, when, is it done yet? You know, she wasn't like every day like, done yet. Is it done? You know, it was like she gave me time. Just yeah. Kinda, which was well, awesome. and we were so going through, you. you know, just as a collective, we've been going through a lot since the beginning of 2023. And usually yeah. when she was feeling it, you know, I was feeling it too. And I was like, yeah. I am not pressing her because yeah. I know I'm going through my own integrations and upgrades and stuff right now. And I was like, she's yeah. doing the same. And I know that when this all comes together and when it's synced up and she gets it all it's going to be perfect timing and it the right was, time. you know, even the producer, it would have been too early. It would have been, been too early. early. <laughs> like, and I kept, yeah. I kept writing her. I'd be like, Oh, not this week. The energies are too crazy. Or we yep. just went through a huge upgrade. Are you feeling it? She's like, yeah. And it was so cool because if I was working with someone that wasn't fine, you know, right. that knew this information, they would be like, you're crazy. What are the energies? No, get this done. Like, right, right. you know, <laughs> But I was I'm like, no, girl, we got a full moon. I got you. Don't even do it. Yeah, (laughs) right. It's full moon. Like, I can't do it. (laughs) Yeah. You know, it was just a lot of that for like two months. And then finally, like, the right time, it just, it got done. And it just, and that just goes to show you that you just, it just happens when it's supposed to. So. And the whole thing took about five months. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird but, though, because it really, really it didn't look like yeah. it. Right. Yeah, it really I've definitely been on projects like that, and a lot of times you don't even know. You're like, I don't even know. You know, it's like yeah, whenever it happens, happen. it happens. You know, yeah. it's like divine we put timing. It out there. Right. <laughs> yeah, we put it out there, and then yeah, the universe took care of the rest. So. Yeah. Well, awesome. It's available on all streaming services, you guys. So you can go whatever one you prefer, but we also have a link to the YouTube version of it. So you can go check that out, but let's play a little piece of it now and give you guys a little bit of a taste. How about that? (laughs) It's called Tethered Hearts. Tethered Hearts. I already know it's going to be stuck in their head, you guys. <laughs> I always, oh, you should tell them the story about the, 
color scanning, you know, <laughs> the vision, <clears throat> the vision. Cause it's, cause I still, I close my eyes and I like, do oh, skating. <laughs> I can so see it. it yeah, yeah. I had a whole vision, Shane of like, so when it came in, I'll try and make it brief, but yeah, it's, it's really about this Pleiadian galactic simultaneous lifetime and in this, this whole thing. And so I had seen, you know, this rainbow road and roller skating and this vibe and all of this stuff, this galactic lifetime. It was just so cool. And Shaylee got the entire vision without me telling her, like I had had all that. I hadn't told anybody of like mm -hmm. what I had seen, what I felt, the backstory of all of this and who it's about and all of this stuff. And she like, what it was in your email. She like, mm -hmm. you know, she's like, I'm seeing like rainbows. I'm seeing galactic, I'm seeing roller skates. I've got this vibe. It's like seventies, eighties, disco, Dua Lipa. And I'm like, what? Like, cause I collected <laughs> these vintage toys. I don't know if you can see something in the background. And I was like, Jaylee, had I told you this? She's like, wait, no, yeah. what? You know? And I was <laughs> like, um, you literally got the, so she got the vision. So cool writing it the whole thing so again another synchronicity so. it just came to me and i was like oh i'm seeing roller skates so that was just really neat that, that really we cool. had that it's it's almost yeah. like the, there's an energy that is with the song and you were able to bring it into the music you know that yep. same yeah. energy. well i think it was the it. frequency that i when i because you know it's an automatically written channel book so my guide was helping drop all this in you know so that frequency that was there in the writing she picked that up you know when she right. was it, it, it's mm -hmm. like it came to her so there she just, boom right. <laughs> in. so yeah oh well, yeah and you know our higher selves i mean we've done yep. all this already so <laughs> if you yeah. can tap in your higher self that's already done this then you they just were, they were just sitting there just they were like oh we know this <laughs> <laughs> so it was cool it was really cool yeah well it turned out fabulous and i can't get it out of my head once i hear it once i gotta uh, hear it again and it, it uh, plays in my head so that's a sign of a great song you know yeah in your we head. just want you to feel warm and it's it's just like a gliding like you're kind of gliding along the universe maybe yeah. in roller skates or whatever <laughs> right just warm but adventurous things. you know right. adventurous yeah. loving space, fun, fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah astral traveling in space yeah which having is my life time. <laughs> yeah anywhere but here just kidding no. <laughs> it's wonderful here that's the other thing it's wonderful know. there too <laughs> right <laughs> yes we can find joy in both places absolutely the other cool synchronicity is you can't tell it on the release because they added a few seconds to it but the actual track is three minutes and 14 seconds long which is pie and it happens to be Lori's birthday march 14. yeah oh that day. was not planned <laughs> and it wasn't planned yeah. right <laughs> you gotta that love those synchronicity wasn't planned i love it that's so cool i mean if we sat and wrote, wrote down all of it oh all yeah of them, that have had, it would be Right. It's it really was cool. It was off the chart. Well, and I think it sounds like Kylie Minogue's voice too. Shaylee has that same oh, yeah. kind of voice. Kylie Minogue's one of my favorite singers. Right. And when I heard it on the the final cut or whatever, I was like, Yeah, whoa. It like, kind of turned I, out more of that. Yeah. It's more Kylie. Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. Dua Leap is great, but I was like, it's she has a, a Kylie yeah. vibe, yeah. you know. So yeah. Very cool. That's awesome. Aww. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. And um, thank we you, do have Shane. Their, no yeah. problem. We've got their links down below, you guys. So go check them out further. You can check out Lori's book. You can check out the track and all the ways of connecting yeah. to them. We'll drop those yeah. links in the description box below for you. And thank you guys so much for showing up today. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks. Shane. No problem. <laughs> have a lots, good one. No problem. Lots of love. You too.